really early, it's about 7 a.m. Patricia and the baby are still asleep upstairs. I figured I would make her breakfast in bed today. Um, it's not what I like regularly do, however, um, I just thought, why not make the extra effort today? Patricia's been working really hard recently, looking after the baby and just working on a lot of other stuff. So um, if there's one thing you know about Patricia, is one way to make her happy is with food. So pretty easy. I'm just gonna do some, I don't know, scrambled eggs, toast, some fruit, something like that. And um, yeah, why not, you know, go the extra mile once in a while. The breakfast finally made here. Now I've just got to try and carry this upstairs without tipping over and uh, slipping and <laughs> falling all over the floor. Morning, babe. Morning, Danny. Is that breakfast? Yeah. Swag. Oh, yes. Thank you, lovely. I, I thought, I know you like your food. Yeah. I know you love your pillow talk. Oh, uh, yeah. It's actually so nice to have breakfast brought to me in bed. And you know what's even nicer? The fact that I'm able to lie in because most of the time he always like runs and rushes out of the bed he's you'd like you've got a rocket up your ass <laughs> in the morning like it's just like the, the, the fundamental difference is i'm a morning person and patricia's a night person do you know what i'm a morning person but i'm not a 6 a.m morning person look <laughs> at grace's morning face okay. morning darling morning gorgeous so grace just wriggled crosa and was grumpy because i know she wanted to be near the food so we're going to give her a little bit of food. Grace, some strawberries. You had that in the morning. It doesn't taste that nice. It tastes a bit dry. Every time she we're eating or drinking, her eyes are so wide. Then her mouth starts dribbling. How long are we going to stay in bed today, Kathleen? To all the couples out there. <laughs> Pillow talk is essential to keeping the spark alive. Like, if you are up, if you guys are running away from each other in the morning or in the night, no. It's not. It can't be essential because I. Don't... <laughs> Why can't it be essential? Because we hardly ever do. <laughs> it's actually quite nice, though. I won't lie. Now that I'm just relaxing. <laughs> Michael's actually giving me the most joke right about now. <laughs> As, as this is the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> my God. Having the most fun. <laughs> Don't want to be anywhere else but here. <laughs> Marriage goals. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> Let's not go anywhere. Let's just stay here all day long. By the way, this is Michael being utterly, utterly sarcastic. <laughs> Look at Netflix and Look. chill kind of day, all day in bed, <laughs> not going anywhere. Not doing it. Not doing anything. Ordering takeaway, wearing the same clothes. <laughs> Michael's not a fan. I was like, look, babe, I don't get comfortable. And he's like, no. <laughs> so today's one of those days where we've got lots to do. We're going to Waterloo Station because there's some activity, loads of activity that's happening all week with DubaiTomorrow.com. Oh, and we are going to try and shoot an intro for our channel, but we're not really sure what we want to do, but we're going to go down to Q. Come down, darling. We're going to try and come to... Um, we're gonna try and come. <laughs> we're gonna try and come to a um, cute garden. Uh, Grace, are you trying to snatch my hairpiece off, babe? She's dribbling on my head. She's actually dribbling on my head. Sadly for me, since I lost the last challenge that we did, and we did say that I was gonna have to do a forfeit, somebody said that I should eat a smoothie made with all different baby foods. Yeah. So, being a man of the people, that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, all right. Trisha is now being the meanie here, making me the smoothie of doom. I can't believe I'm going. Not too much, babe. Oh, you're going to look. Have a look. The smell. Can you see my nostrils flaring? Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Okay. You're gross. You're actually gross. Ah. Oh. Delicious. Oh, it's making me feel ill. Are your eyes watering? Check out his watering eyes. Little ninja here. I like this little outfit you've got on, Grace. Patricia loves dressing this baby up, you know. But you look nice. Hi, babe. Hi, darling. You've been dressing up the baby? Yeah, I have. You look nice. <laughs> Thank you, darling. She's got a really Hello. nice outfit. It's from the Julian McDonald range. What do you think of this, darling? What do you think of it, gorgeous? 
What do you think of it, darling? No, I have a feeling that it's too hot for this. Even though it's like gr grey and cold outside, it feels hot. Humid, but, right? Yeah, it feels real humid. Yeah. But yeah, I've got my old school leather jacket. Okay. My new Balenciagas that I'm absolutely in love with. They're so comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we live just around the corner from the train station. Somehow we always seem to end up running and rushing for the train and almost missing it and being late and end up sweating and, and panting and puffing. We are going to basically a massive event that's happening. It's yeah. happening all week. Um, there's a whole whole kind of event that's going on in Waterloo Station yeah. um, for the entire week. So you guys can go in anytime you want to this week. And it's basically called Here Today, Dubai Tomorrow. Whole principle is like to experience Dubai, yeah. even in London. And we're actually going. Yeah, we're going to Dubai actually. Not in, today. No, it'll be, it'll be nice to go today. In about a month or something. Yeah, we've been invited down by Dubai Tourism, so thank you guys. So yeah, we thought we'd run down, see what's going, going on, and enjoy it. arrived at the station it feels so weird to be coming into the station to like do something here because this is a station I come to like every single day but we're going to the Dubai tomorrow installation and I'm gonna show it to you guys now we have just seen it it looks really really good but the whole concept is that you know Dubai is such a good place for people to go to couples to go to families to go to individuals to go to and I think they just want to give you a touch of basically experiencing Dubai in the virtual reality space. Yeah, the competition also, as well, so people can win it. Win babe, it yeah. This is what this is what I'm loving. There's a competition where I believe that someone, I think multiple people can win a chance to go to Dubai. And like if you come and you interact with the space, you're more likely to win. So guys, I want you to check out DubaiTomorrow.com so that you potentially might have a chance to win to go there. But anyway, let's go and check out the installation. Yeah, you're probably getting into it as well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's good. Like that's really good. Did it feel like you were falling? Yeah, yeah, you need to have a go. I actually can't wait to try that. Yeah. Alright, Patricia's gonna have a go at the uh, virtual reality now. So we'll have a look at her, see how funny she looks, see her reaction. Are you right there, babe? Yeah, I'm good. It feels great, especially because I can't see my hand. No, look up and down and around, and you can spin around and you can. Lift your feet up a little bit. Get the full experience. Are you in shot with sharks? Love with sharks. And fish. That's so good. How do you think, babe? They're really good. Hold on. How's my like eye makeup? Right? You're alright. You're alright. It makes you really feel like going there. Like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. Black is just chilling in. in. <laughs> So competitive, Mike. Mike always wants to win. Look at him. Look at him. He always wants to win. So we are done here now. If any of you guys are around, uh, can get to Waterloo Station. The Dubai kiosk is on until Sunday, the 11th yeah. September. So if you want to go check it out, you can win a free trip, free trip to Dubai. Every single day. Um, and the virtual reality thing is sick as well. So have a go at that if you want to have a go. Yeah, and you can visit the website, which is dubaitomorrow.com. Guys, it was literally so hot outside and it's super grey. But it's one of those fake, fake cold days. So we have fake hot days and then you have fake grey days. Grace is like conked out from like the heat and everything. But we're still gonna get ready, go out to Kew Gardens and yeah, have some fun. Okay, here we go. So we've arrived at Kew Garden. It's, I'll be honest, it's looking like it's gonna rain. Hopefully, what's she doing? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't rain because that will put a little bit of a downer on our little family trip. Grace, are you ready for fun? Me. Yeah, are you ready? I'm still, I'm still Jenny. 
Michael attempts to put belts and buttons on Grace, <laughs> shows him how to do it. <laughs> need a training course to figure out how to put this pram. Oh, look at on. the squirrel. The squirrel's snatching something. This squirrel, wait, hold on, look at this squirrel, yeah. It looks like he's up to no good, mate. Don't trust him. When squirrels get this close, yeah, you know they're dodgy. No, they like to snatch out a child's eyeball. Over, over familiar. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't let any squirrels catch your eyeballs. Don't worry about that, darling, yeah? Good. So we failed miserably on our uh, main task, which was to try and shoot this intro. There's just a lot of people around and a lot of noise. And, and it's a great day and it's not really yeah. perfect. I think I want to get someone to help me do a proper intro. Who's this? Designer woman walking through the neighborhood. Super stylish with her flip flops on. Oh yeah. Time to get something to eat because we've been talking about this food for hours. And even I'm starting to get hangry now. <laughs> hangry. And you know we were all in trouble when that happened. Mm -hmm. Found this coffee shop. It's not actually a coffee shop. I think it's like a... It's just sandwich a shop, isn't it? Sandwich shop. So I'm going to get the toasted waffles with yogurt. There's Grace fighting, wanting to be part of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I think this, right, a lot of people say that Grace looks like me. I think her personality is basically exactly the same as Patricia. Grace is a little battler. She always wants to be like looking at what everybody's doing. Yeah, it's so Always true. wants to be like nosing around everything. Always wants to be running about the place. Oh no, she's crazy. that happened we're quite simple people really back home now both feeling super tired i don't know how so tired yeah this, now. this day has absolutely taken out of us i don't remember feeling this tired for quite a long time but anyway i think we're going to call it a night for this uh, vlog thanks for watching um grace is going to go to sleep we're just going to chill out and have a kind of netflix evening so yes. there's so many things i want to watch like narcos power so much yeah. to catch up on yeah some good stuff so yeah thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time Bye. Bye. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. No matter where I go, I know.